Animals are amazing, this bald eagle visits his dearest companion, a cat, every morning, but an unexpected event occurs one day, Annie was startled by an eagle's scream when she heard a loud commotion outside her door, concerned for her rescued cat, who was also outdoors, she hurriedly fled, she was constantly anxious about the wildlife behind their property since she knew it would be dangerous for her pets. She had lost her beloved dog in a similar circumstance a few years prior, so she was painfully aware of the danger in the relatively remote village where she resided, Annie went to the food shop, they didn't have a veterinarian, they only had one doctor and one grocery shop, Annie was a copywriter, so she could work anywhere in the globe and many other businesses, like a dry cleaner or a dentist, but she preferred to work in this tiny hut in the woods, it was my house. There was nothing as serene as the woodland she could observe from her balcony, but there is a cost to that. Tranquility, one of the older women entered the grocery store, in her hand she held a basket, she turned to face Annie as soon as she saw her, Annie was given their cabin by her parents, and she grew up in this village, she was a true local, well known to all, they were aware of her kindness and her passion for animals, they also knew that she had taken a couple of online courses in veterinary medicine, since there were no veterinarians in the area, she was interested in learning how to take care of her own animals, this was the reason she had previously lost a dog, the poor dog, attacked by an eagle, bled to death from its wounds because there was no veterinarian in the area. Annie saw two of the tiniest kittens she had ever seen when the woman arrived and opened the basket, after being captured by a fox, the mother got missing, leaving the two kittens without a parent. The elderly woman loved her deceased cat very much, but she was too tired to care for two small kittens, providing them with all the care they would require and feeding them by hand every few hours was going to be a laborious task, but she did want children to have a good chance at life, and Annie immediately sprang to her as she tried to figure out what that meant. Annie wanted to say no right away, there was no assurance that she could assist the kittens survive, she would grow connected to them, the black and white kitty, though, yawned at that point. It was so cute, even though Annie's own heart was at peril, she felt she had to try, she received goods, such as a baby bottle and a milk substitute, because they were still so small, she would have to bottle feed them every two hours, it was draining, she spent the entire day tending to them and carrying them inside the front pouch of her jacket, there, nestled up to her heart, the kittens could sleep soundly, it kept them relaxed and at ease, their eyes opened, and they got larger. It was incredible to watch them grow from being roughly four weeks old to becoming fluffy and plump, it was time, she thought, to give them names, she was always afraid of losing them, so she didn't want to do it before then, giving them names would make the loss of them seem too real, however, they were happy and lively, and they were beginning to eat solid food, if they made it, as she hoped they would, she already knew she would keep them. She gave the white and black kitten the name Panda and the other one the name Lucky, after that, they rapidly gained strength, the two cats simply adored exploring, and they exuded confidence and happiness, Annie objected to them playing outside since there were simply too many risks, the kittens, however, would not listen, every chance they got, they wanted to leave, when Annie unlocked a window, they attempted to sneak in, they attempted to pierce the screen if she had a door open Annie and the kitties were fighting the entire time. She ultimately made the decision to let them go outside for little periods of time so she could watch them explore, the kittens, surprisingly, had no desire to travel far, they used to play on the grass just behind the home and simply fall asleep in the sun on the porch, they would immediately return inside after that. Annie ultimately came to trust that they would remain close, even though it took some time, she no longer sat with them all the time, although she did watch over them while they played outside. That's why one day, while they were hanging out there, strange things would happen, Annie would have a severe panic attack, Panda was playing outdoors while she worked and Lucky sat on her lap, 
Annie heard something that would have chilled her blood instantly, an eagle call was heard by her, she was afraid that one of the many bald eagles in the neighborhood might simply pick up Panda and take her away, after setting Lucky down on the chair, she dashed to the door but did not open it. Panda was lounging on the porch railing with a little bald eagle. Nestled close to her, even though the eagle was quite young, his feathers were nonetheless fluffier than those of an adult bald eagle, he appeared to be practicing flight, but he was stuck at that point, Panda might have hurt the eagle more in these situations than the bird could have hurt her, but she refrained, she was just at ease beside him, she approached the bird at one time, and it just sat snuggled up next to her. It was amazing to witness, Annie continued to scan the sky in case the eagle's parents happened to come looking for him, but she saw nothing concerning there because the sky was blue. Panda had the eagle taken care of, but Annie wasn't sure if she should go out and aid it, she leaped down beside her water and food bowl, it appeared as though she was giving the eagle a taste of the remaining food, after jumping off the railing, he drank water for around 60 minutes the bird and the cat sat quietly, and the eagle was unfazed when Lucky emerged into the sunlight. Lucky ignored the eagle entirely, Panda was spending a lot more time with him than her brother, the eagle began fluttering his wings an hour later, now that he had recovered, it was time to go, he took a little while to get airborne, but eventually he took off, it was incredible, and Annie couldn't believe she was going to be able to see this once in a lifetime opportunity or at the very least. She thought it was a unique event that would never come again, however, the eagle returned the very following day, Panda was eager to go outside and spend time with him as soon as she noticed him on the porch, the eagle continued to be Panda's best friend despite growing larger and more powerful, he would come visit every day, and he never appeared hostile, though somewhat amazing at the time. Things would soon take an even stranger turn. Panda refused to stop meowing at Annie's feet, normally. Lucky was the chattier cat that desired attention, but despite Annie's best efforts, Panda refused. To go, she desired for Annie to go with her. Annie stood up and went outside with the cat, for the first time, she dashed off the porch and into the woods, to prevent her from straying too far, Annie ran after her but it wasn't until Panda halted in front of a tree that she realized the cat was guiding her somewhere. Stuck in one of the low branches was a bald eagle, its wing appeared wounded as it became entangled in the trees. This was definitely Panda's pal, Annie reasoned, and he was in need of assistance, she went to get a stepladder, gloves, and a blanket, she ascended to the eagle and encircled him with the blanket, subsequently, she cautiously removed the wing, she brought him back to the house as soon as he was free, there she rested him by wrapping his wing and putting him in a large container with water and fresh meat, she would release him only after his wing healed, she simply hoped he was acclimated to her, or else he might not have remained so composed as she dressed. Him, she then went outdoors to check on Panda and Lucky's continued closeness. She was startled to see that not only were the two cats on the porch, but Panda's eagle friend was also there, that could only indicate that the eagle she had been raising was a very different animal, he might have cut Annie's arm off, but he refrained, suggesting that he recognized Annie's assistance, she took care of the other eagle till his wing recovered. The cats came and went from the house when he grew stronger, and he grew accustomed to them when the second eagle came to visit in the mornings, Annie set the cage outside so he could see the other animals as well, it was eventually time to let the hurt bird go, he was much more powerful and prepared to go, after setting the crate on the porch, she cautiously opened the door, the eagle emerged and unfurled his enormous wings, after flapping them several times, he lifted off the ground, Annie was moved to tears by its breathtaking beauty. She was taken aback when both eagles showed up for their morning visit the following morning. It was incredible, as usual, the panda and the first eagle nestled together, best buddies, however, they all cherished their early time spent together, the dearest buddy of the bald eagle was a cat, and one day, something was about to happen that would shatter their tranquility, one morning. Annie went outdoors to see the two eagles and the two cats all contentedly dozing in the sun. 
Panda was snuggling her pal as they sat close to one another, after she entered the building to work, mayhem. Erupted after about 60 minutes, the cats were making a lot of noise, and she could hear the eagles screaming, one of the eagles swooped down, as if to attack something, as Annie peered out the window, had the birds of prey turned on the felines, Annie reached for the first weapon she came upon, she ran outside with an umbrella in her hands, the eagle descended upon something near the forest's edge while the cat sat in the doorway, they were attempting to drive away something else, not. Assaulting the cats, Annie saw that the eagle was still attacking the young red fox that was hidden beneath the bushes, the eagles appeared to be attempting to defend their feline companions, the small fox refused to come out from under the thicket and continued to conceal its face, he appeared afraid and alone rather than like a large predator, the eagles wouldn't hurt Annie, so she wasn't afraid of them, after driving them away, she approached the bushes in order to get a better look at them. Fox, the fox had a horrible cut on his side and was no more than a baby, it appeared as though a deer or moose had attacked and injured him with its antlers, the cut was quite deep, although Annie was aware that the red fox might attack her cats, she could not bear the thought of letting this animal suffer, she would assist him if she could, she went out the big container and the blanket once more, wrapped the fox in it, and brought it inside, to put him to sleep, she gave him a sedative. Subsequently, she dressed his wounds and secured him, all she could do was hope no major organs were affected by the wound, she was going to give the fox every opportunity to make a full recovery, he grew much sicker before getting better when she had him, Annie spent the entire night tending to the feverish fox and trying to nurture him back to health while she sat with him, it was horrible, the cat spent the entire night with her, and at one point Panda cuddled up to comfort the fox by curling, up next to him, Panda was a devoted small cat that always took care of any other animals she encountered, she seemed to always radiate positive energy, and other animals seemed to respond, the fox was still quite feeble, but by daylight he was making progress, like with the eagle, he slept for hours in the container before Annie fed him, when the eagles arrived for their daily visit in the morning, she also put him outside, not because she intended to retain the fox, but rather in the hopes that, if they interacted in the wild, they might leave each other alone, was her desire for the animals to become accustomed to one another, above all, she hoped that if the wild creatures and her cats crossed paths again, they would leave her cats alone, after giving the fox weeks of care, she led him even deeper into the forest before releasing him, he was doing fine and his wound had healed, Annie hoped he would have a happy life after that, now that her animals were secure, everything returned to, usual, the two cats were having the time of their lives as well cared for pets when the eagles paid them a visit, then, one day, Annie would receive yet another surprise during their routine morning visit, she glanced out, and there was the red fox on the porch in addition to the eagle and the cats, this time, though, they just relaxed and spent time together, every animal was at ease and quiet, it was breathtaking to witness. Panda would often bring Annie stray and injured animals throughout her childhood, and the two of them would save many of them, they were a wonderful team with a great deal of compassion, and it was because of this compassion that they were able to have experiences like this one that were truly remarkable.